Gentlemen, it's time. Let me explain. So I just woke up and I thought, fuck it, let's make some pancakes. Then I thought a bit further and I said to myself, fuck it, I'm going to record a video about making pancakes and put it on my maths channel. Why you might ask? Well, let me explain. Because no one gives a fuck about mass videos it seems at the moment. My views are terrible, so I might as well switch to cooking. So if you wanna create the best pancakes ever for yourself, then keep watching the video. At first, we're gonna create some whipped salted butter. And you might be surprised how that works. You're gonna take butter and a bit of salt and then you're gonna whip it up. I'm gonna use a food processor. Let's go. Oh! The amount really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna whip some up. I just need it later for frying the pancakes you could say and also garnishing a tiny little bit, topping it off. Don't use too much salt. We don't want it too salty, we just want a sprinkle of salt taste in there. And then whip it up. If you don't have a food processor, just use a regular whip, I suppose. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Just creamy butter with a bit of salt taste. Okay, now to the pancakes. Those are all the ingredients. Might look like much, but it's, it's not. It's just basic stuff. We're gonna start with the dry ingredients and then with the wet ingredients. And once we are done with those, we can mix them together and start making little baby pancakes. <sighs> dry ingredients. Let's go, let's go. First things first, we need three cups or 650 grams of all-purpose flour. You're gonna get a lot of pancakes out, by the way. So those are like a metric cum bucket of pancakes, approximately. I don't know how to convert cum buckets into Imperial units. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> a quarter cup or 55 grams of sugar. I'm not one who likes to add too much salt. So about eight to 10 grams of salt will more than do. That's more than fine. We're gonna add salt later through the butter anyways. And if you live in Germany, then just one pack of <laughs> baking powder or about 15 grams. That's a tablespoon for you. And now we proceed to gently combine all of the dry ingredients. Since it's especially important for the baking powder to be mixed thoroughly because later we are not gonna mix anything too much. We're not gonna stir anything up. We are just gonna fold the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. So this step is actually rather important. Looking good, now for the wet ingredients. Now to get started, two and a quarter cups of milk or 500 grams if you don't want to count in idiot units. A quarter cup or 55 grams of neutral oil. I'm using canola oil, for example, it really doesn't matter. A bit of vanilla. I'm using vanilla extract, for example. Put a lot in there, tastes fucking good. And I'm also gonna use some authentic vanilla. Just ground it. Just gonna grind it a tiny little bit. Like a real man, gives those little black sparkles in here, looking kind of big. And last but not least, a quarter cup or 55 grams of apple cider vinegar or just apple vinegar. You could, instead of the vinegar and also milk, just use plain old buttermilk. But the thing with buttermilk is only 1% of the world's population, approximately, no, not even 1%, drinks this shit pure. So once you buy it and you don't use everything up, you 
just gonna let it rot in your fridge. It's like that for me all the time because I don't have a single other use for buttermilk in the normal case, except for preparing rough meat like rabbit or anything of that sort, but this rarely happens. So vinegar, you can just have this at home, milk, you have it at home, mix it together and then you are good to go. This is always the route I go and it tastes fine. It's pretty good. <laughs> Once again, a quarter cup or 55 grams in here. And now mix it all up, nice and thoroughly. And once that's done, we can proceed to mixing the dry and wet ingredients together. Let's make it a bit moist, shall we? Uh, des. Now, as mentioned before, we just want to put the wet ingredients in here. I'm going to use a wooden spatula and just fold it over. We don't want to mix it too much. Due to the buttermilk or the apple cider vinegar, the acid in here is going to react with the baking powder immediately, meaning bubbles are going to um, basically be created here in this mixture, CO2. And we want to trap this CO2 inside of the dough. We don't want to knead it out or anything of that. So we don't want to punch the fuck out of this mixture. We want to keep the bubbles because bubbles are good. Bubbles mean fluffy pancakes. Fluffy pancakes means your friends are going to be in love with you. Fluffy is good. Okay. Fluffy is nice. Mathematicians also want fluffy. So try to preserve the fluff. Put it all in and fold this bitch over. I don't know, maybe 20, 20 times, okay, folding. Not much, we don't want to do much. We want to preserve the fluffiness of the pancakes. And that's about it. We're gonna leave it like this. Lumps are okay, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get pieces of flour directly in your mouth. <laughs> no powder in your pancakes. That's not what's going to happen. It's going to dissolve all. Lumps are fine. As long as we can preserve the bubbles, everything is going to be good. Let it rest for a bunch of minutes, like two to three minutes, and then over to the pan. Now here comes the final stretch. Heat up your pan. You can use a non-stick pan, a sticky pan. <laughs> You can use a griddle, it really doesn't matter. I can fit a lot of pancakes in here, like six or so, which is totally enough for one serving per me and my wife. Um, other than that, just use regular butter or your salted butter, or use regular butter and then put a bit of salt in here. I'm just gonna use regular butter now because I don't wanna have it too salty. But most importantly, use a lot of butter. We wanna butter this bitch up big time. And once the heat is up and your butter is molten, you can go ahead and reduce the heat a tiny little bit. And the rest depends on your style of pancakes, I would say. How big they shall be, should they be perfectly round or anything of that sort. I don't want my pancakes to be perfectly round. I just want them to be really fucking fluffy. So um, I just scoop out a big scoopy scoop of here and just put it into my pan. And if that's not enough, well, I can scoop a bit more and put a bit more in here. That's a good looking pancake. And once they are in here, you are gonna let them rest. They're not perfectly round. It's, it's something, it's, it's not a torus, I suppose. It's, it's just something. It's a lump of dough at the moment, piece of mess. But in a few minutes from now, it's gonna brown, it's gonna dark from the back and you're not gonna push on anything. We not wanna squish those bubbles out. Go fuck yourself, don't do that. Also, just leave it there. Don't try to look under it. Just, just let it cook. Be patient, okay? Be patient just once in your life. We're gonna let it cook. And you know the time is ripe to turn those bitches around. Once the bubbles start bursting through the top, okay? Once the bubbles start to burst, that means the inner temperature is rising. The vinegar is going to react more with the baking powder and at some point the inner part is going to be nice and done. And then we can flip. But before that, just leave it alone. Just let it cook. One to two minutes later, you are going to see, well, 
there are bubbles coming up. Oh, does that mean we can turn it, Papa Flemmy? Can we turn those around? Hmm, yes, you can. It's time, gentlemen, it's time. Don't try to scrape them off, just go under here and flip those. Oh my goodness, look at those. Hmm, is it just me or are those pancakes looking kind of thick? They do, they do look kind of thick, I agree. And once again, don't push on the pancakes. We don't want to have some flat pieces of cookie. I don't know. We want to have fluffy pancakes. We're just going to let them rest, okay? Just about one more minute and they are going to be done. And they are going to be beautiful individuals and they are going to taste fucking good. And as easy as that. Mm. Look at those! L look at those pancakes! Look at those juicy fuck tarts! That's a juicy bastard right here. We need more. Mm, two. Three. Oh my goodness, they are so fluffy. Four. <laughs> Four. And five. Look at that stack of pancakes! Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Oh my lord! Now, I'm not one who likes to go overboard. Stacks of three are more than fine. What I like to do is I like to top it off with a bit of whipped salted butter. It's, it's, it's just gonna melt on here. It's, it's just amazing. What you, what you stick? Oh my fucking God. Once you're done with that, I like to use maple syrup or this vanilla syrup. It really doesn't matter what you like to use. Just put it on your pancakes. Those are your pancakes. It's, it's your time of the day where you decide what's gonna be good for you. My wife loves it with bananas and also blueberries. So yeah, do whatever you wish. But I like it with maple syrup a lot. And also a bit of that sweet, sweet vanilla syrup for the extra taste. And that's it, perfect pancakes. So what are you waiting for? Swing your lazy ass over into your kitchen and start making some pancakes. You won't make stacks of money as a mathematician, but you can very well create stacks of pancakes. Oh my God, subscribe for more cooking content. Subscribe for more mathematics content. And also subscribe to my second channel, Flemmy's Wood. I'm doing the self-sufficient vlog over there, which is also going to involve a lot of cooking. It's going to be good. Seriously, subscribe to it. If you do enjoy cooking content, then you should subscribe to Flemmy's Wood too. I'm going to cook over there pretty soon too. And I'm going to serve some to my wife too. And then we can start into the day perfectly. I wish you guys a flammable day. Please stay safe. See ya.